everybody, it's John Stewart. Welcome to your weekly ticket. Check out our new film, Irresistible. Available on Fandango now. Starting on June 26th. But before we talk to the cast of Irresistible about their new film, here is the top movie news. Michael Mann's new Ferrari film has been greenlit, and Hugh Jackman is in talks to star as the racing icon Enzo Ferrari. The film takes place in the summer of 1957, when all the dynamic forces in Enzo Ferrari's life collide. The race car company he and his wife Laura built is going broke, so Enzo boldly rolls the dice for all their futures on one race, 1,000 miles across Italy. And Edgar Wright is working on a new film entitled The Chain. The thriller is centered on a woman who learns that her 11-year-old daughter has been kidnapped and discovers that the only way to get her back is to pay a ransom and kidnap another child. Her daughter will be released only when the next victim's parents kidnap another child. Oh, cause it's a chain. Anyway, next story. It looks like there's a third Mamma Mia in the works. Judy Kramer, who produced both the 2008 film adaptation and its 2018 sequel, says a third film is in the works. In an interview with the Daily Mail, she said she was meaning to be working on it, but got delayed due to COVID-19. Kramer went on to say, I think one day there will be another film because they're meant to be a trilogy, you see. I know Universal would like me to do it. Kramer also teased that she would like to use some of the new songs ABBA has written that will apparently debut later this year. Irresistible, which is available to watch June 26th, is a comedy about what happens when a small Wisconsin town becomes the main attraction of a political circus when a Democratic strategist helps a retired veteran run for mayor. I chatted with the film's writer and director John Stewart, as well as Rose Byrne, Chris Cooper, and Mackenzie Davis all about their latest project. Check it out. My first question is, this film is set in a small town. Why do you think it was important to tackle, like, someone like politics in a small town for this film? Um, you know, in some respects, it could have been set anywhere. It's really more about how the system around elections no longer serves uh, the citizens that it purports to serve. So the setting had more to do with kind of playing into the political divide that we have in this country so that you, the story has some credibility as you begin to watch it. So you kind of forget so that at the end, when you reveal kind of the real purpose of the movie is to get kind of the idea that to have the audience believe they're watching a different movie than the one that they're actually watching. And so it had to exist in a way that I think the audience believes could happen, could play into the narratives that we've been fed. One of my favorite moments from from your character from Faith is when she's on uh, like the video call doing her television interview and she just has a very like straight, like stoic face and a very stiff politician face. Where did where did that come from? Where did that inspiration come from? You know, I've always been a fan of the genre of sort of uh, films about the media, films about politics, whether it's broadcast news or the newsroom, the recent Apple show, it's such a great backdrop for drama and theatrics. Uh, and there's a specific tone with, with, the, with the job that I think is required. And uh, I was fascinated to try to capture that. And it's very nerve wracking, to be honest, because of the Politico speak is like another language. It really is. And I don't know it. So I was desperately trying to there is a, uh, a almost a boredom or a dullness sometimes when people when they and they just don't draw breath. That's the other thing. There's no <laughs> breath scene. There's no effort. So I uh, I'm trying to capture that while whilst uh, you know knowing that language. <laughs> My first question to you was: as a Canadian, was there anything interesting about American politics that you learned from doing this film? Everything is interesting about American politics. It is such a dense mess of conflicting ideas. <laughs> it is fascinating to uncover and un and like unending education. So, and I'm very invested in it. I live in this country, and um, and anybody who can explain these concepts to me simply, I'm very thankful for. 
you both you both play pretty honorable characters. I was wondering um, if there's anything you envy particularly about your characters. I just hope uh, maybe I brought my own honesty to the character. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and, I must say, and I and I and I must say I I may though I pay attention to the news uh, way too much. Um, People like John Stewart and and others can talk circles around me politically. You know, uh, I know my gut reactions, but uh, to talk really intelligently, not too easy. Available to watch at home, Miss Juneteenth. Welcome to the Miss Juneteenth pageant. I will never get over seeing Miss Juneteenth cleaning toilets. <laughs> Turquoise Jones is a single mom who holds down a household, a rebellious teenager, and pretty much everything that goes down at Wayman's BBQ and Lounge. Turquoise is also a beauty queen. She was once crowned Miss Juneteenth, a title commemorating June 19th, the day slaves in Texas were freed two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Life didn't turn out as beautifully as the title promised, but Turquoise, determined to right her wrongs, is cultivating her daughter, Kai, to become Miss Juneteenth, even if Kai wants something else. Also available to watch at home today, Shirley. Shirley, what are you writing now? A little novella. I'm calling none of your goddamn business. <laughs> a young couple moves in with horror writer Shirley Jackson and her college professor husband Stanley in hopes of starting a new life. Instead, they find themselves in a psychodrama that inspires Jackson's next major novel. The film was directed by Josephine Decker, who won the Auteur Filmmaking Award at Sundance. All right, well, that's it for today. Leave us a comment and let us know what you'll be watching. I'm Kale Anonymous, and I will see you next time. <laughs>